Hello there, and thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes on this beautiful, amazing, wonderful day. Because remember, so as a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he. We are to think upon things that bring us a good report. We are to speak things that are not as though they were already. Well, I just thought I'd stop by and do a quick video channeling the energy of the Divine Feminines here in the month of October. Shout out to all of the Scorpios. It is indeed Scorpio season as I am a Scorpio as well, honey. So, yes, it is all about the Scorpio, but as a collective divine energy, we're just tapping into that right now. So, we're calling on our ancient ancestors of life and of love to reveal the mysteries unto us. Universal energy of light and love reveal the parts we need to see for our highest good for the Divine Feminines here in this month of October. Hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. I got this sitting up here, so just bear with me. Beautiful day. Kind of chilly. Just like I like it. Still amazing. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'm pulling from the Psychic Tarot cards. And we have foundations and achievements so foundations and achievements based on the depiction of this this um, photo here you see how the rainbow is above that home like that now just from the naked eye the house is just a simple home but what makes that house so much different than all the rest of the houses right above it it has a rainbow you see that so that rainbow is coming from the universe. It has put its stamp of approval over that foundation. So therefore, that foundation is more than stable, but it is abundant and happy. You see that? Doesn't stability bring happiness in your life? Doesn't it? That's a beautiful card to start with, Divine Feminines, is abundance, foundation, and achievements you have achieved your goal. Once you get this card, honey, you have achieved your goal. Okay. This card is four, which represents 11. Was it 11, 11, or 11, 11, 11, 11, 22? Break it down, 1, 1. And now we have the sacrifice card in the reverse. So you're no longer making sacrifices to get what you want. What you want is coming to you naturally, divine feminines, because it is time. This is this is what the universe is saying. It's not what brown eyes are saying. It's not even what the people who don't like you has to say. It's what the universe is saying. It said, you know, you've made enough sacrifices, and it's not has it has not rendered you any good benefits in return. So. I'm going to put a stop to this. No more sacrifices. Here it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my stamp of approval on this thing for you because you deserve it. Foundations and achievements and sacrifice in the reverse. No longer having to sacrifice your happiness for the sake of someone else's divine feminines. We know cycles are ending and new ones are beginning. So what a beautiful way to start this reading. Foundations and achievements. And we have light, but it's in the reverse. This light in reverse. Light in reverse is hmm. That is the number nineteen, which is twenty which is two. So light in reverse. 
based on you're not making any more sacrifices. You're not going to be the light that you're not going to be the bridge for others anymore, which is plays into you being a sacrifice and you sacrificing your happiness for other people. So you're not, you're no longer going, you know, because you don't have to be, your reading started off with foundations and achievements. So that means that you, you, this is yours. This is yours. So your sacrifice in reverse and your light in reverse is saying that you no longer have to be, put yourself out there to get what you so rightfully deserve. You're not going to sacrifice. No, I'm not going to be that, that, that listening ear for you and, and give, give, give and give and give and not get anything in return. So I'm not that bridge for you anymore. I have my own life now. I have my own foundations and achievements. I'm going to clarify this light in reverse. Clarify the light in reverse for me, spiritual guides of love and of light. Clarify. It is clarified with the King of Wands and the King of Cups. So with both of these energies together, you have passion here and you have emotions here, but you're no longer going to be the light towards your passion and towards your emotional fulfillment here because you've made enough sacrifices you're not giving, you're not giving anymore. Even if you come in as kings, it's really too late because you, you have what you need. If you did not build this with this divine feminine, then the universe is going to make sure the divine feminine gets what she needs with or without the divine masculine now, because there is a such thing as taking too long. Now your divine feminine don't even want to make any more sacrifices. She don't have to. She don't want to be that light that 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 brightened your day anymore for your for your passion and for your emotions because she's given out. She got it now. But it's a sad thing if she couldn't get it with you. Now she ain't trying to she ain't trying to be there for you like that now. Clarify sacrifice in reverse. Clarify this sacrifice card in the reverse. Why is this sacrifice in Reverse here for the divine feminines. Okay, now it is clarified. Sacrifice. No more being in a... You're, you sacrifice your happiness and your needs. Because now someone... You, you sacrifice... You're sacrificing your happiness. You're no longer sacrificing your happiness for the sake of a uh, partial give and take here. You, you don't want the immature give and takes anymore. It's all or nothing. You can't because we have the page of pentacles and the six of pentacles here. You're no longer going to sacrifice this equal give and take because you've tried it. You've tried it and you've tried it. So everything that you should have gotten, you don't need or want anymore. Not from this one. Because you already have a foundation and achievements here. You have it, what you need on your own. Something small, something tangible, something practical with this Knight of Pentacles. But the Knight of Pentacles is immature. It's it's in and out. I mean, it's it's it's. And then you have the the equal give and take. Something you you needing balance here, or so you're tired of sacrificing your needs for for other people's to come up and for other people to get it all. And you wanna <laughs> you wanna. People want to give you a little bitty crumbs. Little in, you know you know what? People want to give you divine masculine trying to parse your pay when he should be paying for the whole bill. You hear me? That's in layman terms. You know, don't come giving no uh, 
pay a bill. I mean, pay, pay, pay part of a bill. You could pay the whole bill. You coming? But that even that doesn't matter now because divine phantoms don't care. So they don't have to sacrifice their emotions to get in, get what you sh should have been giving them anyway. That's what you should have been giving them. But you, but you were so busy looking out for other people that you left your divine feminine in the point where she just uh, ain't tripping no more. She ain't trying to be your light. She don't want your passion. She don't want your emotions because she's she's passioned out and emotion out for you now. Why? Because the universe has given her a firm foundation and her achievements without you. And she's feeling some type of way, obviously, because she didn't cancel you out. So I hope this resonates with someone. I ask that if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Brown Eyes. And once again, happy birthday to all of the grown and sexy Scorpios, male or female, honey. You totally, totally rock. And I wish you nothing but the best in this year of 2019 upon entering 2020. May your heart's desire manifest before your beautiful, beautiful, big old eyes, okay? But remember, so as a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he. We are to think upon things that bring us a good report. We are to speak things that are not as though they were already. Thank you so kindly for tuning in with Brown Eyes, and I will talk to you another time. Bye.